Hello, everybody, again. This is Adam Cinema with Success in Fundraising. In a happy place. It says, I'm in a happy place in Montana. People like this shirt. I like it a lot, too. So you get to see something different than the official wear of uh, Success in Fundraising today. But we're going to talk a little bit about the online store. I know there's uh, we we're dealing with with our newer area in eastern Washington, we have a lot of people who are really unfamiliar with it. So we get a lot of interesting questions, similar to the ones we've had a few, a couple years ago when we first deployed our online store option. Uh, one thing to remember is it is available on every one of our fundraisers, and it is in a few different capacities. So if you have a Butterbraid pastry fundraiser, like you see here, it's, in, it's basically complementing the paper order forms. You could sell just online, but you have to remember that the frozen food that we offer will always be delivered to you, where you then your sellers distribute to your customers. And so that's something that uh, we try to keep consistent because we have a second message with another group of products. And so, but with the butterbread pastry uh, options, uh, it does really complement uh, the paper order forms because we've seen there's statistics out there that people generally spend more when they buy online. So you might see someone who would buy two, maybe buy three or four if they're online. And it accepts a variety of different types of digital payment. And so that uh, that works out really well. And it, it uh, keeps track of the person who purchased it so that your seller can distribute it. So you have a phone number and address to be able to bring that to when we deliver them to you. I use a lot of different terms, but for us, delivery is when we drive up and deliver something. Uh, distribution is when your sellers go out and distribute them into the community. And we also talk a little bit about shipping, and I'll shift to that. So there's also, we use our online store for a couple fundraisers, the, uh, the, the 406 fundraising items. Uh, we ship those to your customers. So most of the time, yeah, this one especially, it is just online. So you would just get a link, and then you would set up your sellers or not, and you would distribute that link, and people will buy from you. Uh, when I said to set up your sellers or not, I'll take a second and pause. And setting up the sellers in the system is, is uh, actually quite easy in two different ways. You can either upload a list of your sellers, potential sellers, your whole list of uh, people who, who may be selling. And then, uh, then you would have links that can go to their stores. Uh, the other way is to send out one link that will allow your sellers to opt in so they kind of sign up name name uh, and email address the email address is convenient because then they will get an alert when someone purchases something from them which is is an encouragement and might encourage you to go out and try to sell more and so suffice to say that's actually quite simple uh, the one's really simple you send out a link but you do have to encourage your sellers if, if they want to get out and sell they got to get signed up and they got to start sharing their link their individual store link the reason we, we do that is so that they know who to, for Butterbrae Pastries, we know who they deliver to, and that way if you're keeping track of individual sales for like uh, if they go into their own account or however that works, um, that's all kept separately. So it's effectively like a spreadsheet and each seller is separate. And, uh, and at the end, you add the paper orders to the online orders, uh, and that would be for, for most of them. Uh, for the 406 stuff, we would just add them up and you you just hit the submit button and it's done and we write you a check. Uh, so that brings me to another big question is how do you, how, how does the money get managed? So we collect all of the money for the online orders, which includes your profit. And so when we create the invoice, it, we add up what, for the total items, how much you would owe us, then it will subtract everything that we collected, which would then still leave you with your profit. And, uh, and we don't mind explaining that or if there's any questions about it happy to do that the profit will always be as stated it doesn't really change this is just something that we offer and is available to on every one of our fundraisers and so we encourage people to try it because there's like other things let's see statistically seller averages go up so generally if you sell with both paper and online your average will go up so if you on average maybe kids sold 10 each or 12 each. I think the, the national average is 12, maybe close to that. And then maybe you see 15 or 20. Some groups we see in the 20s and 30s. <laughs> it is amazing. 
Uh, one nice thing about this too is it's really safe. Uh, you don't have to be door to door. But that is uh, the reminder also that there is still some effort involved and you have to share the links. And it would be prudent to reach out to those people who normally buy and just say, we, I sent you a link. Uh, you want to go in, I'll describe what we're doing, why we're raising funds. You still want that aspect of it. You can't just, just send a link and expect the same kind of sale that you would get without having that. Because that face-to-face -face interaction uh, adds a lot of value. And usually your customers uh, care more about you and supporting you in your, your endeavor and like that time that you can spend together and learn about what you're up to. And so that's still an important aspect of it. Perhaps it shifts to the phone and say, I just sent you a link and uh, please take a look. Let me answer questions if you have any. And so, and one of the biggest ones, it was tied to the money part of it, but it is, it makes it way more convenient. If it's online only like these, we just write you a check and you get your profit at the end. Uh, so you don't have to handle any money. You don't have to cash any checks. You don't have to write any checks. Uh, when, with the other ones, when you get a little bit of both, there's still a large percentage of your fundraiser. You don't still don't have to handle all those checks and all that cash and all of that. And so probably uh, a little bit safer there too. So all in all, it is a, a significant compliment to the way we've done things in the past. We believe it'll be a growing part of how people do fundraising. We know that it's not, it can't replace it 100% effectively. There's, I think there's still, I mean, this is me. We live in a rural place, so <laughs> I like visiting people. So, uh, so I still think there's aspects that uh, you should go out visiting and perhaps you just have it on your device and they order that way. Uh, but you still have that visiting and, and connecting and building relationships, because that's a big part of it, I think. I believe and uh, and so we just wanted to give you some insight into the online store it's available it's getting utilized more and more each year and we're here to answer questions about it if you're a group that wants to try it we have we have uh, demo sites we can just send you to and you can take a look at it uh, and so it is uh, probably about all we got thank you for joining me again on Thursday and uh, Look forward to talking to you again. Bye.